Welcome back. Today we are reviewing the Proto Arc foldable, and you're hearing this right. It's a foldable keyboard, multi-device connection, foldable full-size keyboard. This is the this is Proto Arc's model XK01. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do uh, consider subscribing. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys have tested any of this stuff. Ooh, that's cool. Um, and check the description out because I leave you guys with coupon codes and all that good stuff so that way you guys get hooked up with the latest and greatest. And if you guys are interested in the one that I have, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. So here it is. Here is uh, here's the foldable keyboard. I've never played with anything like this before, um, so I'm actually pretty excited to see how this works. And here it is. Um, oh wow, so you just open it like this. And there it is right there. <laughs> that's cool. And it looks like there's a button that's flashing at me, so it might be like a, like a Bluetooth type of thing. Um, and then when I close it, that light actually turns off. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But when I open it, there's that uh, there's that 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 light right there. Now it does come with the cable. It looks like USB C, standard USB, and I believe it's going to be right there, right in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and plug this guy in. So here we go. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in real quick. I just connected it to my computer, and gonna plug that in right there and see what happens so it looks like the power button's on and it looks like okay so it looks like actually this is gonna be a power it's gonna be a power to keep this thing charged which is pretty nice because that means you could use this for like a bunch of stuff it's if it's gonna be just Bluetooth uh, connectivity so here we go we're gonna go ahead and search for Bluetooth Bluetooth and other devices <clears throat> and it says add Bluetooth or other devices. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Bluetooth, it's going to be searching for it, um, for whatever Bluetooth that, that there is out there. Now, the way to sync it up, there is a, on the keyboard, there is some buttons right here, the orange buttons, and this is where it will show. So I just got a notification that says connect to support Bluetooth device quickly, then choose yes. So my computer just said Bluetooth keyboard found. I'm going to hit connect. Proto Arc. Oh, so there it is. So it looks like it just popped up right there. Pretty neat. So here we go. It says mouse and pen. Proto Arc is connected. So there it is. Pretty simple. If you do go to add and then you go to a Bluetooth, just wait till everything populates and then it should come up right here. Just start scrolling down. My computer automatically said, hey, it looks like you're trying to connect the Bluetooth speaker. So it automatically did it for me, which is kind of cool. Um, but there it is right there. So we're gonna come here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start typing. And there it is. <laughs> looks like it's it's picking up pretty quick. Um, yeah, let me see. Uh, I am Rojowski. How are you doing? <laughs> so it's pretty cool. This is actually pretty neat the way it works. Um, I am Rojowski. How are you doing? <laughs> so it, it works. It works great. Um, it does have an FN key. It does have volume control. There's certain things here that actually are are pretty neat about this keyboard. Now, the only thing I will say about the keyboard is as I am playing with it, there is there is nothing in, that tells me in the back of how to, uh, you know, just just make it a little bit of an incline. Now, when I when I do play with it, because it is so flat, it's kind of like a little I don't know. For me, it's a little bit of, like annoying that it, there is no bump. But again, you could probably put something in the back to give it a little bit of a bump that way it doesn't feel like it's so flat seeing that feels much much better now the f and the j they do have that little line right there so that way you can feel where the start of the keyboards are for your keys um and then everything just works really good you got your your fn right there and then all your keys are up here fn 1 through 12 which is pretty nice you could take a picture right there your screenshot home and page everything is right there um, picture in picture your settings button and then all the different Bluetooth options So if I want to connect several dev devices, you can I got Bluetooth 1 2 and 3 so that's pretty neat Now the good thing is that this, this works for Windows and for Mac so you could use both devices 
also for iOS and Android systems. You could do the exact same thing. And that's pretty much it. This keyboard actually is pretty, it's pretty nice the way it worked. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I try to get you guys all the latest and greatest stuff. With all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.